Okay, this is another foundational foundational mechanic, which is the anchor. Really, the corkscrew is the main foundational one. You'll see how we build off that, but the anchor is pretty foundational too. So the anchor is another edge drag. It's like the soft drag, and I'll just show it to you to get started. It's just dragging the heel and changing your direction from changing your heel, or from dragging your heel. So your toe is gonna come up, and then you're gonna just use that to change direction. Now what's really important, again, is that I don't get tight through my leg, because what can happen is as I anchor this, this leg can get super tight, I can lose shin angle, I can press my toe into the ice, all those things, and that's not what we want. As we get better and better at downhill skating, we'll start to find that we can keep this leg nice and relaxed as the heel uh, presses into the ice. And as we get really good Y angle, I can totally have this leg relax. It's like when you're skiing and you have your edge dug in, you don't need to be super tense. You actually wanna be more loose. And that's what you're creating in this off leg. Now, when is this used compared to a soft drag? Well, what you'll see is that a soft drag is a bit of a longer turn. So when I do a soft drag, I, I start here, and then it's like the curve is kind of long. But when I do the same move with an anchor, what ends up happening is it's kind of short, right? So I can actually slow myself down more with the anchor, uh, and then so I can make moves in tighter spaces. The trade-off is I lose speed. So when I'm doing a soft drag, I have a lot more speed. But when I have anchor, you can see I slow down. Now, we wanna have all the same things that we always pay attention to. Nice, even, relaxed shoulders, hand in the crevice, good heel pressure uh, with shin angle, and then also really good Y angle, so getting wider and wider every time. Some ways we can progress this over time is we can do anchors from here. We can also do a zigzag, so we can do a corkscrew anchor, corkscrew anchor. Uh, we can also do anchor stops. We've seen Barzell do this often on breakaways where he's doing an anchor and then he stops. So he's snow plowing this edge and then he's dragging this edge to stop. And we see that like this. We also see that with the soft drag, but that's less common. This is something that you'll often use on breakaways. The last thing that I like to always say with the anchor is your best combination is to tend to anchor off your knob side foot and soft drag on your blade side foot. So for me, that looks like this. And this is a great deke. It's a great way to set up your shots. And when we're doing it this way, you'll notice that my hands go from in front of the body to the side. So anchor, soft drag, anchor, soft drag, anchor, soft drag. So the primary way to get better anchors is just to rep those out. Um, but uh, those are all the different ways that you can combine it, progress and regress it as well. So again, a really foundational movement. It's the way that the top NHLers steer their body and move laterally. And it's a really, really great tool for deking and deception. So I hope you learned something. Get your video of that, compare it to NHLers, post it, get feedback, and then keep on progressing, keep on learning. Thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.